Good evening, and welcome to the swearing-in ceremony for Fire Chief Robert Zoldos. We thank you for taking the time out of your schedules to be with us tonight. Uh, before we begin, uh, I want to recognize a few of the distinguished guests that are with us tonight, Mayor Steve Schull, Council Member Charlie Reese. I don't see any other council. Are there any other elected officials here that I missed? Okay, great. With that, um, Couple words about Chief Zoldus. Uh, Robert J. Zoldus II became the City of Durham's ninth Fire Chief on November 13th, 2018. Prior to joining our city, Chief Zoldus had over 31 years of fire service experience, including service with Fairfax City, Loudoun County, and Fairfax County, Virginia. In this time, I'd like to ask everyone to please stand uh, as the Durham Fire Department Honor Guard posts the colors.
Thank you. You can all be seated. Now, Battalion Chief Sean Field, the chaplain of the Durham Fire Department, will give the invocation. Let's pray. God, we thank you for the opportunity to be here tonight. We thank you for everybody that has turned out. We thank you for the occasion that brings us out here, Lord. Father, we thank you for Chief Zoldos. We thank you for the man that you have brought our way. We know that much time and energy, investigation, and even prayer went into this decision. So we thank you for the opportunity to be here with him tonight, to welcome him, to celebrate with him, to honor him, and to welcome him into our not only our fire department family, but into the broader family of the city of Durham, North Carolina. I pray for your presence with us tonight and your blessing upon our time. In Jesus' name, amen. Now I'd like to ask City Manager Tom Baumfield to come up for some remarks. Thank you, Chief. It's my pleasure to be here this evening to congratulate Chief Zoldas on being named Durham's ninth fire chief and to maybe more importantly welcome he, his wife Sherry, and their family to Durham. We are thrilled that you have decided to make Durham your home and to become a part of our city of Durham family. Some of you may know that uh, the city is just wrapping up our annual resident satisfaction survey what you might not know is that the Durham Fire Department and Fire Service consistently achieves about the highest ranking of any city service that our residents comment about for our entire organization. So Chief Zoldas, uh, we don't want to let that drop. So <laughs> keep that 99% satisfaction rating continue. But that's not just because we have great men and women in the department, it's because the department continually goes beyond the call of dirty, do, duty to serve this community. Just a recent example of that is a family whose home caught fire on Christmas Eve. And not only was the fire department on the scene to extinguish the fire, but also comforted the family in the days following the devastation by providing monetary donations and even a trip to Great Wolf Lodge to replace their intended holiday trip that they were going to go to on the night of the fire. The homeowner, Mrs. McLean, commented that the fire department's actions showed them that people really do care and there still are good people in this world, but we've always known that about the Durham Fire Department. Chief, I'm told that one of your earliest priorities was getting to know the firefighters, and I have uh, been told that you have uh, visited already in this short tenure 26 of the 57 crews that are assigned to the operations division in the fire department. I think that is very uh, impressive and commendable, and I thank you for making that quick dedication to get out and know the folks. I appreciate that. Our collective vision is for the Durham's Fire Department to become the premier fire department in the Southeast, and I have every confidence that you will provide great and excellent leadership to advance the department toward this goal. Again, I'm so excited for you, for your family, for the department, and for the entire city of Durham that we, you uh, have taken leadership of the fire department. Again, I thank you, congratulate you, and uh, wish everyone a great evening. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Bonfield. And now I'd like to ask Chief Zoldis and his wife, Sherry, to please come up for the pinning of his badge. Very good. He says it did not hurt at all. <laughs> if you want to stay up, uh, both of you can stay up here. Now I'll invite Mayor Shul up to do the swearing in. Mayor. Thank you, Chief Yanazi. Thank you very much. This is a great day. Uh, nine fire chiefs. That's not very many. Uh, we are, we have been blessed in Durham to have a wonderful fire department over a long period of time. 
And uh, I can just tell you, Chief, uh, that my colleagues on the City Council, Charlie Reese is here, and I see Council Member Caballero, Javier Caballero is here as well. Uh, we give you our full support, and uh, we are so proud of our department. Uh, the men and women of the fire department do an amazing job, as uh, City Manager Bonfield has said, and uh, we, uh, we want you to let us know ways that we can be supportive of the work that you do. I do want to say that you all may or may not know that uh, Chief Zoldis is a former mayor. Uh, I'm going to be looking forward to some advice from you, Chief. Uh, if I do it wrong, be sure you tell me, okay? You just come just, uh, just come whisper in my ear or something, okay? Get, set me straight. Um, I'm now, uh, I, I, I wondered if uh, your daughter and your mother would also, would you all like to come forward for the swearing in? We'd love to have you up here. Come on up. And I'm going to ask your wife if she would please hold this Bible. And I'm going to uh, read this, and then I'm going to just read part of it, and then you uh, repeat after me, okay? Yes, uh, and so will you please put your uh, left hand on the Bible and right, raise right your right, right hand? hand. Yeah, do. got it. I've messed that up a couple times myself. All right, you ready? Yes, sir. Good. Come on a little closer to your dad. There we go. I, Robert, uh, I state your name. I, Robert J. Zoltis II. Have read, understand, and subscribe. Have read, understand, and subscribe. To the Code of Ethics of the City of Durham. To the Code of e Ethics of the City of Durham. And do hereby solemnly swear. And do hereby solemnly swear. That I will support and maintain. That I will support and maintain. The Constitution of the United States and the Constitution and Laws of North Carolina. The Constitution of the United States and the Constitution and Laws of North Carolina. Not inconsistent therewith. Not inconsistent therewith. And that I will faithfully and impartially. And that I will faithfully and impartially. Discharge the duties of my office. Discharge the duties of my office. As fire chief for the city of Durham, so help me God. As fire chief for the city of Durham, so help me God. Great. All right, Chief. Did I, Chief Finozzi, did I do what I was supposed to there? You, all right, great. Thank you. Chief. Mayor Schull, members of the council, City Manager Bonfield and the Deputy City Managers, all invited guests, city staff, and attendees of the ceremony, and of course the members of the Durham Fire Department, thank you all so much for trusting me with the care of this incredible group of firefighters and appointing me to serve as Durham's, Durham Fire Department's ninth Chief of Department. It is an absolute honor to be with a department that has almost 150 years of service in, to this community, and I look forward to leading it into the, into the start of its next 150 years. Let me introduce my family in attendance tonight, my daughter Kathleen, my, my mother Kay, uh, my wonderful wife Sherry, uh, my son Bobby, in, coincidentally, was down here playing hockey for West Virginia University all weekend against three area teams. And don't worry, Mr. Mayor, all three area teams won. Uh, I know he wanted to be here, but he had to ride the team bus back home, and he's so dedicated to his studies, he didn't want to come back down. So I'm not sure where he got that from. To our elected and appointed officials, I work towards improving our department so that it will become a gem of the industry and a leader in our state and region. As an example of this, we're rolling out a new fire ground command and control procedures on February 6th to help the DFD's ability to respond to the 911 call. To Bull City's bravest, our members, I'll work towards ensuring that you have a safe and conducive work in, working environment. I'll make sure our great group of firefighters become even better through improved training, state-of-the-art equipment, and solid and transparent leadership. As an example of this, I'm having dinner at every station, shift, and work location, which is 50, 58 in total, and as I was mentioned before, I'm 26 of the way through, to hear what you need to do our job better. That will help the DFD's ability to keep our members safe while on the 911 call. And to the residents of Durham, I'll work towards providing you with the highest quality of fire and rescue services. I look forward to creating a safer environment, a safer community together with you. As an example of this, we'll be starting in the spring a program that will have all of our companies out on the street every Saturday afternoon checking and installing smoke detectors and providing prevention services to help you help the DFD prevent the 911 call, the 911 call in the first place. Thank you all for being here this evening. I'd like to especially thank the Durham Fire Department administrative staff, Susan, Carol, thank you so much for making everything happen tonight. And I hopefully I did it exactly how you wanted. 
Uh, I'd like to thank Chief Anuzi for two things. For one, for emceeing tonight, Chief, but also for keeping the fire department together like, in such a great way that you've done over the past months. Thank you. I'd like to thank our chaplain and honor guard. They were spectacular as always. Thank you guys for always making us look sharp. And finally, I'd like to thank, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, and Company One for helping set up everything tonight. Finally, I'd like to thank my family for making the trek to our new home dorm and for making this day possible because without you, I would certainly not be here. Thank you all for attending the ceremony tonight. Now I'd like to bring uh, Chaplain Field back up for benediction. Pray with me again. God, again, we thank you for this time and for your presence with us, Lord. Lord, I want to take this time to pray for all of our city leaders. Father, they have heavy decisions to make each and every day. Pray for your guidance. Pray that you watch over them. Pray that you watch over our city, Lord. Father, I pray for Chief Zoldos and his staff, for the men and women of the Durham Fire Department, your blessings upon us, Lord, and for your guidance and wisdom, Lord. And Father, I pray that you be with us as we go from here and pray for your blessing as we leave. In Jesus' name, amen. We thank you for spending this time with us, and we hope that uh, you'll take a little bit more time to help yourself to some refreshments out in the lobby. Just want to let everyone know there is a council meeting that will be starting at 7, so if we can keep uh, down to that end where the refreshments are so that uh, we don't, uh, the noise doesn't overcome and interfere with the council meeting. And thank you very much.